Hi Flosstube, this is Jamie and welcome to my cross stitching channel. Today is Monday, May 30th and this is Flosstube number 16. And I am back for a whip update. Uh, it's just been a little over two weeks since I last uh, recorded a video. Um, I told everybody in my last video that I was going to a every two week schedule instead of every week. So I am back. Um, and it's actually a little bit over since uh, I normally film on Sundays, but today's obviously Monday. So, um, so I am back. Um, so it's going to be probably a fairly quick video today. Um, I am going to do a couple of life updates here right at the beginning. Um, I haven't, I'm not sure if my stitchy bug has gone away or I'm just super busy with a bunch of stuff. Um, we've had a few get togethers with my family with, um, with, I guess I'll start with that. <laughs> um, he's now my fiance. Um, I got engaged to my boyfriend. That's the ring if you want to see. <laughs> uh, we got engaged about a week and a, was it a week and a half ago? I think a week ago last Friday. So yeah, about a week and a half ago we got engaged. Um, and so we've also been just doing summer activities and things with his family, with my family, and it's just, it's been a lot. We've had like a, a dance recital for my niece. We've had a barbecue. Um, we've also had things going on with our friends that live here in the same apartment building that we do. Um, uh, I think it was a, was it a birthday party? I can't remember, but we had a get together by the, the pool that we have here. Um, so it's just been like, lots of activities, lots of things going on. Obviously I'm now in the stages of planning our wedding, which is going to be in a few months. Um, it's going to be pretty, pretty quick coming up here and we're not going totally crazy or anything. It's not going to be super traditional. Um, but there obviously are things to get figured out. So anyway, all that to say <laughs> my cross stitching has taken a little bit of a hit again. I'm not sure if it's all of that or, my stitchy bug kind of went away for a little while. Um, with all the full coverage I was doing, that was my focus. Um, for mania, uh, I decided to do like a monogamous, monogamy, <laughs> um, where I focused on one of my full coverage pieces each week of the month. Um, and I, I did get a little burnt out doing that. Um, and I actually, you'll see, I, I didn't get my last goal. So, which is okay. <laughs> that gets in the way sometimes it's fine. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into my cross stitch progress. Uh, so the first thing I worked on, which was my third full coverage goal was realm of middle earth, which looks like this. It's a chart by tilt and crafts and I am stitching mine on a 28 count, uh, easy count. I think fabric two over one tenth stitch. And I'm going to do this <laughs> in two parts because I kind of went rogue with this one. So you guys can see the progress here. So like I said, this was the first thing I worked on. And here is the progress from last time. I am honestly not 100% sure how well you're going to be able to see what I've done. I, You'll see in just a minute what I did, but I was going to just come down into this page and just start filling it in to get the 2000 stitch goal that I wanted for that week. And I did get the goal on this one. Um, so I'll let you guys see the progress for this side, but what I ended up doing because <laughs> I just was not loving the thought of being stuck in background for a very, very long time. And with how, big this chart is, I knew that I would be stuck in it. And I, I was just like, I need to be able to switch back and forth if I need to. Cause obviously it's all got to get done at some point, but I don't want to be stuck in background only for a really long time. So what I did, <laughs> and I'm not sure how smart this was. And I'm really, really like hoping that I counted this correctly. So this is where we started. <laughs> I'm going to try to be able to see this here. And I took the stitches all the way over here <laughs> to this side. So now I'm way over on the right corner. <laughs> so you can see it all together, maybe. Holy cow. So that's the whole thing. <laughs> 
and I think that's 14 pages across the top. So the two, I have two done over here. So I went across another 12 pages to get to the other side. So, because <laughs> this other side, it's just way closer to a lot of the detail. And so I'll be able to kind of go back and forth between background and detail. But I was just, I was so burnt out on doing the same color over and over and over again that I was like, okay, <laughs> it's time. I've got to change this up. So that is the first thing I worked on. Like I said, I did get over 2000 stitches on that one. Um, I think I just barely cleared it by maybe 20 to 50 stitches. I don't know. On all of these, I just like barely pushed myself over 2000. I was like, okay, done. <laughs> so, um, so that is what I got done on Roman Middle Earth for Mania. And then my last mania piece that I was supposed to work on was Paris of My Dreams, which looks like this. It is, the artist is Leonid Afrimov, and this is a Heaven and Earth Designs chart. And as I said, I did not meet my last goal, which was on this project. By the time I made it to here, I was severely burnt out on full coverage because it takes me I think maybe I just picked too big of a goal. Maybe 2000 stitches was too much, but I was just trying to like get a boost on a lot of these. I thought about maybe just pulling back to like 500 stitches on this one and I like even couldn't get myself to do that. So um, I think I didn't even write down all the days, but I think between the three days I worked on it, I wanna say I got maybe about 300 stitches. So at least I got something, but this is where we're at from last time. So a little bit of a difference, but not much to speak of this time around. I did get some more of like the reds and some of the blue colors. And I think I filled in a little bit more of the black as well. Still up in this corner where it's a lot of dark, dark colors that doesn't really look like anything yet. I am getting closer. I'm like really right on the edge of like finding more of the brighter colors, but like I said, I was just, I was struggling to work on this one. So it did not get the goal that I was hoping for, but that's okay. I have a lot of full coverage, so <laughs> it's going to take me a long time to get this done anyway. So it's all right. But that is the last full coverage I worked on in the last two weeks. I don't think I mentioned that I only worked on four projects. So, as I said, it's just lots of things going on. So I just didn't get my hands on enough of my projects this time around. So, so the next thing I worked on, um, I have a goal for this one. It's the Twisted Band Sampler by Northern Expressions Needlework. I can get this page out. So this one looks like that. And I'm trying to get a band of stitches done every month to finish this. And right now I am on this band, this kind of solid looking band under the butterflies. Lots of orange colors. Actually, it's only two, but. <laughs> so I went ahead and finished the second. I had, on my last video, I showed you that I had done the top strip and I finished the second. So I did get my goal on this one for this month. And June is right around the corner, so I will be starting on those flowers next week or two. Can you guys believe that? We're already like almost halfway done with this year. It's, it's mind boggling. Anyone else feel like that? They're just like, they blink and the time is just gone. <laughs> All right, so as I said, I finished the second strip in this band that I was working on. So this is where we're at from last time. Yes. <laughs> so this is going to get a little bit difficult, a little tricky getting these together in the frame, but this is where we're at. So I finished this bottom lighter orange strip and this band is done. I think it took me two days. There's like a that like grid looking thing in the middle. I did all of those one day and then I did the two outer stitches on the other day. 
I think I mentioned this last time, but the middle one is a rice stitch. The two in the middle are raised stitches, and then the ones on the outside are scallop stitches. So I seem to enjoy the second half of this band more. I'm not really sure why, but I do really like how it turned out. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, can't really tell the detail. <laughs> in person, it looks really cool. So another specialty stitch down. So the next band down, um, the next one will be just cross stitching. So should go fairly quickly. So that is the progress I got on um, Twisted Band Sampler. And it is possible that I forgot to write a project down and I may have worked on more, but this is what I can remember. So yeah, I don't think I worked on any of those. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so the last thing I have to show you guys today is tequila, which looks like this. It is a pattern by Stitch Rovia that I got off of Etsy. And I think I only worked on this one day, one night when uh, my fiance and I were watching a TV show. I decided to pull this out because it's pretty simple. So this is where we are at from last time. I just realized. <laughs> Paris of My Dreams is stitched on 25 count DMC Magic Guide 2 over 110 stitch. Twisted Band Sampler is stitched on 32 count Lugana 2 over 2 for the cross stitching and one, one strand for the specialty stitches. Totally forgot to say that. It You get out of practice, guys. Bear with me. <laughs> so this one is done on 18 count Oatmeal Ada. I actually think it's light oatmeal. This is where I got last time, from last time. I think I got maybe 300 stitches in that night. I filled in the uh, highlight behind this word, I put in this of, put in the little blue design there, and then brought this flower, did the flower and brought the, the stem part across. It was really fun to get to some of these other bright colors. I do love green, but <laughs> There's a lot of green right here, so it was nice to get the blues and the, the pink and the orange. So, still am in love with this piece. It is coming along really nicely. I'm definitely going to get back to some of my other non-full coverage pieces. <laughs> I've been missing them a lot, so might work on some of those today and tomorrow, or today and the rest of this week. Um, I think we are doing something with my sister on... Wednesday and then <laughs> I think nope not this weekend it'll be the weekend after that I thought I had another stitchy meetup this weekend but it's just a lot <laughs> so that is the last thing I worked on like I said this is gonna be fairly quick this week so that is all my whip progress um um I was also gonna mention that um I am, I got signed up for a retreat that's later this year in uh, Salt Lake City. Uh, it's called Stitch West. So I'm excited about going to that in a few months. Um, it's in October, I believe, the end of October. Um, and me and uh, my two stitchy friends are going to that and possibly my sister will be coming down as well. So I'm excited about that. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to tell you guys <laughs> that I was gonna mention. Um, so yeah, my videos may be a little bit shorter than the next few during the summertime with all the planning and just activities and stuff that I've been going to. So I apologize if that <laughs> disappoints you at all, but um, I was trying to think. Yeah, I don't have any haul this time around. Um, I do want to do some shout outs, but I won't do them till next time because I didn't, didn't have the forethought to put them together, but there are some newer uh, floss tubers that I want to do a shout out for next time. Um, yeah, so I'm going to leave it there guys. Uh, again, I'm sorry about the, it's pretty brief this time, but I just wanted to get a video recorded and show you guys what I've been working on. So I hope you all are doing well, staying safe and healthy. Happy Memorial Day to anyone in the U S and I will see you guys next time. Bye.